Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about something awkward, spooky, strange. I'm not really sure what the right adjective would be if Arthur decides to enter the general store in Valentine. Now, I know what you guys are saying. What's strange about the general store in Valentine? And what does it have anything to do with Arthur? Well, one of you guys actually pointed this out to me on my Facebook page. You shot me a message saying that I should check it out. And what you told me to find and what I discovered was insane. So this offers me a good time to remind you guys, if you have any mysteries, secrets, experiments, cool things you want me to check out in Red Dead Redemption 2, drop me a line over on my Facebook page. I'll have a link to that in the description. It's a lot easier than managing the thousands of comments that happen on the videos and you can send me pictures and videos and stuff like that. So it's a little bit easier. But anyways, let's talk about the Valentine convenience store or general store, I should say. And why does Arthur Morgan have something awkward that happens there in particular? Well, if you walk in and you go towards the very back wall, you might notice something of Arthur's. It's actually his famous gambler's hat. So if you look at the back wall, you can see that there are two versions of Arthur's hat hanging from the wall. Now, at first instance, you might not think to yourself, well, that's not particularly interesting. Well, if we dive into the history of Arthur's hat, it is very significant. So the reason for this is Arthur's gambler's hat is literally one of a kind. It's one of one. It's not a mass produced hat or anything like that. So the fact that there's two other identical copies in the Valentine General Store is obviously very strange. So not only is Arthur's hat one of one, but also this is 1899. We're not in the era where like things can be easily mass produced like a hat. So Arthur's hat like that would have had to been like handcrafted. So the ability to craft two or three perfect identical copies would certainly be very strange. So you might be now wondering, well, how does Arthur wear his hat, but there also be two identical copies in the Valentine General Store? Is this where Arthur ended up getting his hat from all along? There's a lot of questions that we will be answering in this video today. So the short answer is no. Arthur did not get his famous gambler's hat from the Valentine General Store. In fact, he's had it for a very, very long time. So if you go to Arthur's camp and you actually inspect his little wagon and where he can actually like sit and stuff like that, you'll notice that there's three photos and four items. There's a horseshoe and uh, three photographs. And one of the photographs is of Arthur's father, Lyle Morgan. And you guys can see there, Lyle Morgan is wanted for uh, larceny. And this was actually taken either on July 12th 1874 or December 7th, 1874. So in 1899, this would have been 25 years ago. And what's important is you can see Arthur's dad, Lyle, there wearing the exact same hat. So you might be wondering, where does Arthur get his hat from? That's the answer right there. It was actually his father's. So we know that Arthur did not have a great relationship with his father. In fact, in regards to his death, Arthur actually says it wasn't soon enough and refers to him as a no good bastard in his journal entry after he actually gets tuberculosis. However, he must have at least some fondness for his father because over two decades later, he still keeps a picture of him next to his bed and also wears his hat. So we know the hat is incredibly significant to Arthur and his sort of family lineage. So we know he didn't get it from the Valentine General Store. So that still begs the question, how are there two versions of his hat in the Valentine General Store? Well, I think the easiest answer here is that this is Rockstar just reusing assets. So Rockstar obviously wanted to make the General Store look as populated and as realistic and lifelike as possible. And you see them do this in a lot of the locations, stores and towns and game. Uh, where they'll end up putting posters on the wall, they'll end up putting decorations and designs. And I think it's no different here, is that it's a hat rack, and Rockstar decided to put two hats on the hat rack. They just happen to be Arthur's special gambler's hat. So I think it's just the case of Rockstar reusing assets. Now, I have no problem with Rockstar reusing assets like this. I don't know, you know how much work went into the design of Red Dead Redemption 2. 
I don't know how crunched for time they were. I don't know what their design process was like. But my question is, is why would they reuse such an iconic hat? A hat that the characters are going to be interacting with if they use Arthur's default outfit every single time they end up playing. Why would Rockstar decide to do that? And this wouldn't be the first time in which they've made that same mistake. So let's stay on the topic of headwear. Interestingly enough, in Black Bell's shack in the swamp, you can actually find John Marston's hat too. His hat is one of a kind as well. What would John Marston's hat be inside of a old abandoned shack in the Blue Water Marsh? Clearly, John Marston never lived there, and I don't think he's ever visited here before. So again, this is just another example of Rockstar sort of reusing an asset. And even getting away from hats, do you guys remember the necklace that young Jack created very early on in Chapter 2 that he ultimately made for his mom? Well, we know that that ends up being found on a random grave out in the desert. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <clears throat> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. And again, it's highly unlikely that Jack Marston ever made his way out into the desert to put it on that grave. And it doesn't have any significance to the Marston family, at least that we know so far. So that right there is why it's awkward, it's spooky, it's suspicious that Arthur's special gambler's hat would somehow be in the Valentine General Store. He didn't put it there. He wasn't purchased it from there. And we know for a fact that John Marston obviously didn't put it there because at this point in time, he doesn't have it. As you guys know, Arthur gives John Marston his hat in the final mission of the game. So he sort of gives it to him as well. Remember this cutscene that happens in Chapter 6? All right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. No, I think I've pushed all I can. Come on, you go. We ain't got time for this, not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now, I'll hold them up. Here. Just take it. It ain't no use to me now. Ain't no more time. Talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. So clearly it's not John Marston that would have given it away, and you can obviously tell the sentimental value there. He wouldn't just, you know, hand it over to a general store. So that's why I think it's one of these weird, awkward moments that Rockstar decided to do. It's strange. They could have put any hat in the game. There's like hundreds of hats, but for whatever reason in the Valentine General Store, they decided to put like the one that the main character wears, which I think is a little bit silly. But of course, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you feel like you have an even better theory as to why Arthur's hat is in the Valentine General Store, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys down there. I think for the most part, the answer is pretty obvious, is that Rockstar was just sort of reusing some assets here. But 
Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another theory out there that I haven't explored. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.